here you can see all our uh, basic templates. So we only have limited time today. So we want to do a little poll and ask you, like, what would you like to know more about? Um, but I can give you a quick rundown. Basic customer journey is really the most simple journey that you can imagine. So it just has all the basic need, needs, pains, gains, uh, quotes, opportunities, and solutions. This is also our uh, number one most used template, actually. So um, yeah, I'd be happy to tell you more about that. But then there's more, of course. Uh, the number two most used one that we have is the service blueprint. Service blueprinting is a yeah, tried and tested method, actually, to bridge the gap between service design or UX and um, you know the actual back end and the front end uh, systems, um, supporting systems that you need to actually realize the vision that you have for your journeys. So um, that's also a very useful one. Uh, we have the customer life cycle. That's uh, actually a you know, different variation. You can both use it for macro journeys, so like more high level journeys, or even the highest level, like a whole life cycle. Um, then we have uh, two variations of marketing funnels. So yeah, marketing funnels are actually kind of journeys uh, with a little bit more con focus on conversion metrics usually and uh, some specific phases that marketeers always use. Um, but in essence, they're just journeys with those uh, familiar terms. And we have the job to be done time timeline. That's um, also like a specific uh, life cycle type uh, timeline that is a specific methodology that, yeah, some of our clients actually use. And then there's two ones that are maybe a little bit special. Uh, story maps are what you can use to plan um, how you will release uh, new features. So for example, you can order solutions that you have uh, and order them according to, you know, what is the most value, uh, minimum viable product, which features do we release in other releases. And then we have a roadmap. So you can also make a journey and just plan it as a calendar, especially if you have, for example, marketing content or something, you can use that to actually plan, you know, when do we release certain things, for example, or when uh, will we release different solutions that we've identified in data. Uh, 